Please. Good evening, Lucas. Sorry for being late. Nice that you've managed to come. I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. It's been quite some time since you met. Yes, it's true. Five years, I guess. Yes. How are you? We're doing good. I see the children very often. Two weeks ago, I became a grandfather. No! Yes. <gasps> The first time. Congratulations! Nice. Oh, let me guess. It's a girl, isn't it? <laughs> yes, you're right. She's ah. really a cute, cute baby. What's her name? They called her after her grandmother. Rose. Are you writing again? Yes. I suddenly had the desire to tell a story again. It sounds amazing. Is it a sequel or something new? Something new. Something new for me. Something I haven't written before. Oh, it's not a murder mystery? No, it's not. <laughs> Just tell me. I'm curious. But don't laugh. I'm not sure yet. But it's definitely a love story. I shouldn't have said anything. I don't even think the story will work at all. It's just not my genre, I guess. What are you saying? If anyone can come up with interesting characters, it's you. Thanks. Your words mean a lot to me. I think it could become your next bestseller. Maybe even the best book you have ever written. How can you say that? You don't know anything about my story. Why are you so sure that it will sell it all? Everybody loves your books. Um, they'll be even more interested because this one is outside your usual genre. <laughs> First, everyone will talk about it. And then, Everyone wants to read it, and the rest will just happen overnight, just like before. Thanks.
And now, tell me some details. Uh, no, I don't know. I won't tell anyone. Promise. That's not the reason. If you're unsure about the story, then let me be your critic. I'll be honest. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you about it. But there is one condition. Of course. I'm unsettled on how the story should end. I will tell you all my ideas, but I want to hear from you. How you would like the character's life to turn out. Deal. Well, let's see. The story is about a lady, a young girl who has everything in life a girl her age can dream of. She is about to graduate school. She is an only child, spoiled for her parents. She gets everything she wants. But she has only one dream. She wants to become a famous actress. The story wouldn't be a love story without Leo. <laughs> Leo is her best friend since they were kids. He hasn't much luck in life. His parents separated a few years ago and without his music, he would really be lonely. secretly has a crush on the lady and so they are spending a lot of time together. There is this game that Lady loves. She becomes a character from one of her favorite movies and starts to recite a dialogue. Is everything all right? Yes. It was amazing, Duff. I was like, so Mama's going to be out of town. He was like, yeah, maybe we could. And I was like, yeah, sure. And he was like, cool. I know, he's so smart. That game again? Yes, absolutely. My acting teacher says it's the perfect exercise to dip into different characters. Come on, play along, Leo. <laughs> All right. Great. That's gonna be it. <laughs> What are you talking about? We should stay here. It's the start of La Belle Epoque. The greatest, the most beautiful era Paris has ever knew. But what about the twenties? What about the Charleston and Fitzgeralds and the Hemingways? I love these guys. But it's the present. It, it's dull. Dull? But it's not my present. I'm from 2010. What do you mean? I dropped in on you, just the way we dropped in on the 1890s. You did? 
Yes. I want to escape my present, just as you want to escape yours, to the golden age. Come on. I love Midnight Paris. Don't you love it too? <laughs> well, actually, it's one of my favorites from the Woody Allens. And I have to admit, you were way better than last time. <laughs> well, I did everything necessary. I went through all the films you gave me. You did that for me. Of course. Wow. So, lady. Tell me, you wrote that you know what you want in life. And I mean, graduation is coming closer. And I was wondering, what's your life going to be? Yes. I'm going to see the world like my father. I, I have to travel, try out a lot and, and gain experience. That's the only way to become a successful actress. And Mark lives in Brooklyn, you know. I can go live with her and I've got no one holding me back. I, I can reach out and fulfill my dreams. I mean, it's... Right. So that's what you meant. <laughs> Sorry. I just thought that... What? Did I say something wrong? No. Not at all. Sorry. So, um, what do you want to do? I've actually them already. Please go. Leo and Lady talk about their hopes and dreams for the future. And they couldn't be more different. Finally, Leo wants to tell Lady that he'd love to be with her. you the best part. Not only was he a super rat, he was also broke. Broke! I mean, but not a far thing. His family has money, of course, but he personally is broke. Turns out he owes $700,000. Can you imagine anyone owing $700,000? $43, yes. Anyway, that's why he decided to marry the Queen of the Pig people. I'll tell you one thing, Fred, darling. I'd marry you for your money in a minute. Do you marry me for my money? In a minute. I guess it's pretty lucky neither of us is rich, huh? Yeah. Oh, Fred, darling, I'm so glad to see you. Good. <laughs> so it's my turn now. What do you mean? I got a good one for you. Okay, now I'm curious. <laughs> Just follow me. Stop when you recognize the movie. Well, it's a marvelous night for a moon dance With the stars up above in your eyes A fantabulous night to make romance Neath the cover of October sky When I was a young fella, I used to talk to the moon. Oh, wait. I've almost got it. Now I just find myself sitting up here talking to myself like a loon, all on my own. Well, I'm here. Yes, you are. What are you looking at? You.
Of course, Leo was disappointed. But after graduating from high school, Lady's decision to leave forces Leo to try again. What a beautiful day. Yeah, it is. Hey, so what you want to do? I could easily forgive his pride if you're not mortified mine. Oh, Leo, come on. My acting teacher's advice is improv. It's enough. Take a break and listen. Your smile brings my day to glisten. I know you since we were kids. You'd always come to my gigs. Now I know the meaning of life. Forget the drinks, false friends, and strife. Open your eyes and change your mind. So many people are ignorant and blind. Those are my ideas. I can't tell you how the story is going to continue. Lady's decision was not easy, but she wanted to fulfill her dream. By all means, I understand. 
She felt that leaving was the only way to live her dreams. But I also hoped they would become a couple. Why? Because the two belong together. It is a love story after all. Not every story has a happy end. <laughs> yes, but... You know? Well, I mean... I'm still not sure. The story isn't finished yet. And... You promised to help me... Figure out the ending. All right, let's see. Did ladies dream come true? Did she become a great actress? Hmm. She did. Did it make her happy? I don't know. I'm sure there were moments in her life where she thought that way. And what about Leo? Don't you want to tell me what happened to him? I've been thinking about that for weeks, but I can't decide. Maybe... He got over her. And married another girl. In real life, maybe. But not now, story. No. Uh, the young man had only one wish be together with this girl. Any other girl wouldn't be an option. That sounds so dramatic. <laughs> yes. Like that. That's why it should be performed on stage. So, what do you think? How, how should it end? They have to meet again, definitely. All right, let's see. Um, a few years have passed before Lady contacts Leo again. Welcome, Leo. Good evening, Lucas. Black tea as usual, sir. Oh, thank you, Lucas. Hey, sweetheart. Hi, lady. How are you? I mean, we haven't seen each other for ages, right? Yes. Thank you. Magnificent. To be honest, your call surprised me. Why did you want to see me after all these years? I'm, s I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, 
the reason I wanted to meet you again is... What could I bring you, darling? Oh, my goodness. I is it that... Yes, of course, you are a lady. May I take a selfie? Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're so incredible. You look amazing. Wait a minute, is this a La Hong dress? You're beautiful, really. Oh, thank you. Um, can I have a black coffee, please? Of course. It's on me. I followed your career. It's amazing how far you've come. I mean, I've expected nothing less, but it's great to see you fulfill your dreams so quickly. LA is not only glamour, you know. Anyway, what is new with you? Are you working? How's your mom? I'm a music teacher and uh, it is my dream job. And my mother has remarried and she's very happy now. Wow, great. That pleases me. And are you also married? Uh, me? Uh, no, no, no. I'm I'm still single. I mean, there were relationships, but nothing too serious. Really? Yes. But why are you asking? Here you are. Your black coffee, sunshine. Thank you. It is my pleasure. Leo, I've been thinking a lot lately. And asking myself who I am. I simply don't recognize myself any longer. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm not sure. I thought you were happy. You've got everything you want, haven't you? I know what I've done to you was terrible. I'm so sorry, Leo. I just wanted to leave everything behind. And I, I worked without a break just to have no time to think about the past, to think about you. I don't know, but I want to thank you for being honest with me, lady. Can you imagine to live with me, Leo? You mean you and, and us as a couple? Yes. I was so alone the last years. Alone? Well, me too. And of course I've always dreamed about this moment, but I don't think that this would go well. Why not? Because LA is nothing for me. And my life here would appear quite boring to you. There, there are no parties with famous people. Here there's no glamour in my very simple life at all. I just can't believe that you would be happy with such an uninteresting person as I am. And maybe you want it from the bottom of your heart, but I can see us having a future while you still need all this luxury and attention. Lady, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leo, please wait. I was about to lose myself, but then my father was dying and he told me that he regretted never having really spent time with me and I, 
I started to think about my life. About how quick it can be over. And about what's really important. What I want to say is I love you. I love you because you never wanted to change me. I love you because you always loved me for my crazy kind. I love you because a life with you is far better than anything else in my world. So what do you say? I... So? Are we getting a second chance?